welcome back it's been a minute it's been quite a few years actually and I was watching one of my 10 minute makeup routine videos and I just realized they're super outdated and my current routine that I do every day is even quicker than that so I wanted to share it for all my women out there that work a nine to five like myself and just need a quick pick me up every morning to look presentable, to look professional, and to feel good. So if you wanna learn my everyday five, seven minute routine for my makeup, then please keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is still wet. I just got out the shower. Um, I've done nothing to my skin except just used a cleanser in the shower, so right now I have nothing on. The first thing I like to do is use just a face spray. Um, this is a Mario Badescu skincare facial spray. I used to use the rose water, but this one works a lot better for my skin because it's super sensitive and it has aloe, green tea, and cucumber, so it's a lot more calming. Um, so before I put anything on my face, I just spray this first. I'm pretty generous with it because it feels super hydrating. Um, I let it sit for a few seconds and then I'll just put my moisturizer on top. For moisturizer, I am currently using the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. This is just like drugstore, Target, um, very simple and it's for very, it's gentle. So for very sensitive skin like myself, you can see I have rosacea on my cheek. Um, so I need to use just anything that's calming, gentle to my skin and I've tried a lot of moisturizers, a lot of what's trending, what's popular, and I've just learned that my skin just is not a fan and less is more. The less I put on it, the better it feels, and anything that's just calming is gonna help me. So I like to just put this on my face. I like dab it on first, and then I don't, I'll rub it in. I don't like to rub it in immediately because honestly, I don't know. This is just how I do it first. And it feels really good and it has like no scent it's very hydrating my skin is very dry but it's also very oily so it's in between and I just don't get it I don't get it so I'm just gonna rub it in now and I like to put it on my neck I should wear sunscreen I know I don't but I'm trying to get into it um, but my foundation has a good amount of SPS SPF in it but wear sunscreen that's honestly it for my skin um, prep Next, I'm just gonna dive into foundation. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Um, also, this is very ratchet, so just, I'm getting it fixed today. This foundation is just really, really amazing. Um, I just put some on a beauty blender, and I put it directly on my face. Giorgio Armani foundation is one of the few that has like my exact color. You can see it's like super, super, close to my actual skin color. Um, I'm very olive. A lot of the foundations that I was using that I realized weren't really matching my neck because when I would go outside, I would I would still be very red undertone. Um, yeah, this one just fits better with my skin. It's very olive and it's super, super light, but it's still pr a pretty good coverage. So I like it and it works for me and it smells really good and it lasts me all day. If you have like an eight hour day, this definitely does a trick. So. I like to go pretty generous on this side just because I have a, few, a little skin discoloration and then I have that redness um, and then I just bring it down on my ear. I love getting ready in the morning. This is honestly, when they ask that question of what motivates you in the morning, like what gets you up in the morning, this is literally my favorite part of the day in the morning. Um, just getting my makeup on and feeling good. It's super, super like relaxing and meditating for me. <laughs> When you start to feel good, you have a great day and like who doesn't want to look presentable and you know, just be a boss. I don't really go too under my eyes because I, um, I put concealer and powder there and I'm trying to avoid my skin looking as cakey as possible and the less you put on, the less cakey you'll look. So I really focus the foundation on the outer areas of my face, so like right here, my chin under my nose, my under my actual nose, and then forehead. Always make sure to bring it to your neck, like just a little, because you'll be surprised how it doesn't match sometimes. I don't know, your skin just plays games with you. Okay, so once you have it everywhere, that's pretty good. Right after that, I'm grabbing this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I am in the color 
medium and it's crazy how makeup routines change I used to be very very generous with concealer and now I realize like you just don't need a lot a little goes such a long way and I kind of ran away from like doing like the full forehead nose chin contour I literally just put like one two three one two three and that's it and that brightens my under eye really well and then just getting my beauty blender I'm gonna blend this out again it's really really easy Whatever is left on the beauty blender, I'll just put a little under my nose because I get really red right here. But I'm not applying more concealer. I'm literally just using whatever is left and blending it out. That's it. And here's a trick that I've been doing lately that really gives you like that filter finish under eye look. Um, before I put like a translucent setting powder under my eye, I grab like a setting powder that has a bright tint to it, which is um, just the MAC Studio Fix uh, NC25. This one is super popular. Um, shout out to MAC because a lot of people don't use it as much anymore. Honestly, I really only use this product, but their products are good. And um, I like to put this only under my eye. So what it does, it also gives it a little bit of a brightening effect and sets it, but then I'll put translucent powder over it as well to make it last all day. So just grabbing some here, dabbing off what's on it, and then I'm just gonna put it right where I put that concealer and it gives it I even bring it a little down under up to my nose but it gives it a better lightning like a lighter um brighter effect and it makes it really smooth I'm actually getting ready for work right now so it's about I'll be heading out soon so you're really getting ready with me as I'm going to work which is kind of cool but you can see this is just bomb like this looks so good and it's so like matte and like it just it just it's brighter and it, I love it now grabbing the famous Laura Mercier powder everyone loves this I'm not necessarily gonna bake I'm just gonna set it like I did with the powder before I'm just grabbing a little bit with a brush um, and I'm gonna just dab it under the areas that I know I'll get oily throughout the day. So under my eyes where I put that concealer. Always right here of my nose, just like the crease area. I put a little extra right here because that's where I get very oily under my eye as well. My T-zone area, my chin. And I'm not baking, I'm literally just dabbing it on. Forehead. Does anybody else's eyebrows get oily too? Like I just put some on my eyebrows too, because why not? Just put it everywhere. My eyelids even tend to get a little oily, so I just put a little bit on there. Now, just a disclaimer, I guess. Um, I have eyelash extensions, so this does speed up my process in the morning. It has changed my life. Shout out to my girl um, who does them for me, but she, it's just so much more convenient and it helps. I would only ever really wear mascara every day, so if you don't have lash extensions, you would just put in put on mascara and that's what I would do. Um, but yeah, lash extensions definitely help speed up my process if you're always rushing and you work a 9 to 5. Um, and it really helps. Even if you're, when you're not wearing makeup, you just look super presentable and awake and alive and I'm hooked. Okay, now that I've concealed, my face is set. Um, I'm gonna bronze up my face. I'm using the Kylie Jenner bronzer in the color Tanned and Gorgeous. Um, this is a really good color. I really like the way it looks. I'm just grabbing any angled brush that I have here and getting some of this product. And I'm just gonna put it like in my contour areas, of, contour the areas of my face, but not literally contour, just kind of bronze it up. So like right here. We all like a snatched, chiseled jawline, let's be honest, so let's just add as much possible right there. I'm just gonna do this for like 10 minutes, hold on. I'm not even sure if like this does anything, like it, does it actually make that area right here disappear? I don't know, but like I'm into it. And then just my neck, because you want to make sure that you match. Forehead, 
and some. My forehead's not like too big, but I like the way that it looks when it's a little bronzed up. So I'm just putting some right here. And then whatever's on my brush, I just put on my nose, like right here. I don't even really, I'm just like, I just put it all over my nose, honestly. I don't know what it does, but it gives it a little bit of a bronze. It just looks good together. It like gives it a little bit of a bronze effect. Next, um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Pencil. This is the brow definer, the thicker one. I found that this brow pencil works better than the Brow Wiz lately for me. And my eyebrows, um, they've came a long way. I've like, they're thicker, so I just fill in. I literally just follow my shape. I don't actually like do the whole concealing thing anymore. Um, I just kind of go with my shape. I love for it to look like natural hair. So this brow does a good job at doing that. And I just, um, I follow my shape. I start by like giving it a color because my brows are super light, but I have hair. They're just like super light. So I want to like tint the hair first and I'm in the color dark brown. So I'm just kind of going in the front, tinting the brow. And then I do make it a little longer on the sides here to kind of give it that arch. But I am all for just like a natural looking brow lately. Um, and I haven't got my brows done. I used to get them threaded, but I haven't got my brows done in a year now. Next month will be a full year. I've just been plucking them myself and I find that, you know, it's a lot better. Like, and they, my brows definitely don't get along. They're different, but like, I don't know. I'm just into it and it's easy. I just clean them up. I just clean up the hairs that grow out and then trim them a little bit. And yeah, they look decent. Like it's whatever. I don't really want like a huge, sharp, defined brow. I don't know. And I'm just brushing it as I go. So you can see like I just darkened it a little bit by following its own shape and extended the brow a little bit. And yeah. Now, of course, if I'm like going out to an event and it's not like an everyday work look, I'll take my time and I'll like do my eyebrows more and like make them like a little bit darker and thicker. But for everyday, this is pretty simple. I just fill in my actual shape and then brush them so that you know you can see the hair. And yeah, that's it. Now this is key. I am a huge blush person. I don't get how some people just don't like blush. I love it. I've been using NARS Orgasm for years. It's one of my favorites that like really complement my skin tone. And I wear blush like it's nobody's problem. I go in and I definitely blush it up. So I just love the way it looks. I like my cheek. It really helps like give you like that instant like cheek lift or like filler look um, but I love blush and I just go in like right over my bronzer like this and where I smile my apples of my cheek um, but you can kind of put it everywhere honestly I'm a huge blush fan and it goes pretty with lipstick and it just really looks good and then like you know like that sunburn look like on your nose I put the blush on my nose too I like that look like it kind of gives it like I've been in the sun and my nose is burnt I don't know, I like um, And then I just take this highlighter, this is again Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, the Amrezy one, and I just take a little on my finger, um, and I just put it on the tip of my nose, and that's it, like just to give it a little bit of a point and like a little on the bridge, and that's it. I don't really put highlighter on like every day anymore. The blush has a little tint of a highlight in it, but that's it. Like, that's honestly it. That's all I do to my face, and then I'm just gonna put some lipstick on, and it's so easy. So for lipstick, I'm really loving the KKW lip liners. Um, they're just like really creamy, and like they're really, really soft and easy to put on, and I love a brown liner, and then like with a nude center, so that's what I've been doing with this look every day, or like if I change it up, I'll probably do like a, like a lighter liner, like more oak from MAC or um, Strip Down, but I tend to stick to the nudes and the browns. That's just my go-to and it looks good with everything. So I don't overline a little bit. My bottom lip I do. My top lip pretty much has like, it's pretty bigger. So I, I just follow the shape, but I just line a So 
So that's the liner and it kind of looks good already, but no, I'm gonna do some lipstick in the middle. This nude is by um, Morphe. It's one of their lipsticks. It's, it's matte, it's called Wifey. And as you can see, I love it because it's almost done. And I just put this on the center and I kind of go over the liner. And it kind of gives it that ombre look. Um, it's really, really pretty. That's it for my makeup every day. It's so simple. People always ask me like, how long does it take you to get ready? And I'm like, my makeup takes me like five minutes. I don't even use more than like 10 items. Um, and I just, it's just, you look really good. You feel really good. Of course it helps that I have eyelash extensions, but if I didn't, I would just put lots of mascara on and that's all I would do on my eye. But um, yeah, and I'm ready to head out to work. I mean, my hair, I'm just gonna kind of leave it natural today, but any other day I would probably just straighten it out and yeah I hope this helps all my people out there that you know rush in the morning to get ready and still feel like they don't feel good about themselves and they don't like the way they look like I said this is the reason why I get up in the morning doing my makeup routine makes me feel so excited for the day and when I feel good I have a great day and and it's just things you know it's like yeah um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed and let me know if you're interested in seeing more things like this because I want to get back into this. Um, obviously, thumbs up the video, subscribe if you haven't, and yeah, have a great day. I'm off to work because I'm actually running late, but um, I'll see you next time.